This video is going to help you to work out interior and exterior angles in polygons. Let's take the simplest sort of polygon that you have. This is a triangle and it's a polygon because it's made up of straight sides which are forming a closed shape. I hope you know you can work out the missing angle in a triangle simply by adding up the numbers to make 180 degrees. Well our objective for the first part of this video is to try to work out what that number would be if I changed the shape, if I made it into say a quadrilateral or a pentagon. Those shapes have different angle sums and that's what we're going to try and work out to begin with. So let's start with a triangle. Here it is. We know that a triangle the angles add up to 180 degrees. If I add on another triangle to my shape though, I've now got a four-sided shape. There was 180 degrees in the first triangle, there's 180 degrees in the second triangle. So for my four-sided shape, I've got a total of 360 degrees, that plus that. Now let's make it a five-sided shape. Here we go. It's now a five-sided shape and I've had to add another triangle on. Let's select one, two, three, four, five sides in that shape now. And I've added another 180 degrees to my previous answer. Let's do another one now. Here we are. It's another triangle, but it now makes a six-sided shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides to my shape, so it's a hexagon and again I've added another 180 degrees that makes 720 degrees. You can keep going like that and you can always find the angle sum for any shape that you like, any polygon. A quick way to do it sometimes is to actually work out the number of triangles and times by 180. Here you can see this is a six-sided shape but I've only got four triangles if I add another one on, so now it's a seven-sided shape. can't draw a seven-sided shape, so I'm just going to do a rough one. OK, add on another 180 degrees if you want to do it this way. But if you want to do it a shortcut way, you can say, look, this is a seven-sided shape. I've now got five triangles, so it's five times 180. In other words, you take the number of sides... You take away 2 to work out the number of triangles in the shape and then you times it by 180 degrees. And that's sort of a quick formula. However, I'm going to stick to my list for the purposes of these questions. Let's have a look at a typical question. Let's say you've got a six-sided shape and you've got some angles here. Let's give them some numbers. 120, 130, 140, what does that look like? About 70, and then an x. Let's say you're asked to find the value of x in this shape. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to know what these angles are going to add up to. So you look at your list back up here, and you say, right, for a five-sided shape, which is what this is, one, two, three, four, five, five-sided shape, they're going to add up to 540 degrees. And all you've got to do now is figure out what's the missing number here to make them add up to 540 degrees. Quite simple, really. Take another example. Um, sorry, I'll just finish this one off really quickly by subtracting all of those to work out what the missing number was. 540, take away all of those to give you your missing number which is 80 degrees on my calculator. I might have made a mistake there. I was doing it really quick. But you get the idea. They've got to add up to 540, so you take away the rest of them and find out what's left. Let's have a look at just a very quick other one. Here is a six-sided shape. I'll put the angles on here.
Okay, what would we do with this shape? Well, it's a six-sided shape, so we go back to our list, adding 180 each time, we see that 6 is 720 degrees. So in order to work out the missing angle, you need to take all of these other angles off. I'm not going to bother finishing this one off, but you can see how that's going to work. Okay, for the final part of this video, let's have a look at regular polygons. Regular polygons are ones where all the sides and all the angles are the same. So I've tried to draw here, as best I can, a regular hexagon. Okay, all of the sides are going to be the same length, it's not drawn accurately, and all of the angles on the inside are going to be the same. So what do we know? Well, we know, by writing out a list here, that the angles in this shape are going to add up to 720. So I like to write that in the middle there. Because it's an, a regular shape, all of these interior angles here are going to be exactly the same. So this 720 degrees is going to be split evenly between these six angles. So we share that out and we say, right, each interior angle, interior means on the inside, doesn't it, is going to be 120 degrees. We share it six ways. So each of these angles that I've labelled here would be 120 degrees, and they would all be the same, because in a regular polygon, all of the angles are the same. So this is a way to work out the interior angle of a regular hexagon. There's another one you need to know, which is the exterior angle there. The exterior angle, which I've labelled with an E, adds up with the interior angle to make 180. So what we're looking for now for the to work out the exterior angle is we're looking for a number which is going to add up with 120, that's 120, got to add it on to make a straight line which is 180. So each e exterior angle now is going to be 60 degrees. Just check, do they add up to 180? If they do, then you've got the exterior angle correct. Let's just try one more, see if we can work out the interior and exterior angle of a regular pentagon. So the interior angle is going to be the total for a pentagon, let's work that out, just adding on 180 each time, oh, that's 540, it's got to be split five ways, so that each of these angles is the same amount, so it's 540 divided by 5, which gives you 108 degrees. How do we find the exterior angle? Well, remember that the exterior angle adds up with the interior angle to make 180 degrees. So we're looking for something which is going to add on to 108 to make 180. The answer is 72 degrees.